Hey guys, what's up? Havoc here. As some of you may or may not know, HV Casual, a level 93 uh, Cyclone Aegis Marauder, died a couple weeks ago on Urbitary. Just, uh, I'm going to explain his death really fast and give you guys an update on the plans to get the Uberax. So. Okay, this should be. This is uh, where I died. Let's get full screen up. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna play it once, and then I'll, uh, I'll see if you guys can figure out how I died, and then I'll play it again, and I'll pause it and explain what happened. Then I'll tell you guys what I changed for my uh, second character. Okay, so let's go. I died. I desynced the cost like my animation. <laughs> I guess I kind of said it there at the end. I instantly realized. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, watch it again. And I'll pause it and explain. So as you can see, I'm attacking, I'm cycloning. Uh, everything's going good, getting good DPS. I think I'm running around 7k, 7.1k DPS right now with added fire. So, you know, six endurance charges, max. Get a 13 second roll call. Uh, one thing I just missed here. Let me pause this. Let's, let's go to the next one so I can show you one thing. It's just kind of important. So, okay. Notice I have no endurance charges right now with the bar fade down. My enduring cry is not on cooldown. I'll play it. Goes on cooldown, yet I gain no endurance charges. That's the first thing that messes up. Uh, it's on cooldown for me. Apparently, it's a client side bug. It, I've heard it's not actually on cooldown, but yeah, I didn't get any endurance charges there. I didn't really cast during cry for a bit. Um, so, yeah, no endurance charges. That's the first thing that happens. Spinning. And I start moving down here. If you notice, that guy is walking really weird. So yeah, I'll keep going. Again, do two endurance charges, and I'm probably gonna recast my mortal call really soon since I don't wanna, I wanna, I don't wanna cut it close, and I wanna play it safe. But obviously, didn't play it safe enough. So what happened is, on the server side, these two guys are actually over here, just hammering away at me. But client side, I think they're over here, uh, hitting me. And then what happens is since I'm right clicking and holding my right my, my right click down on uh, the cycloner, I get stuck in animation and I cannot do anything other than pop potions or log out when I go up here and when he moves back up here. Yeah, two endurance charges left, five seconds left on a mortal call. I'm about to pop it again and see what happens. Yeah, this guy, he just teleports up there and now I'm stuck going this way. In hindsight, it probably would have been a good idea to log here, noticing I only have two seconds left. And I know this is going to take more than two seconds for me to reach there on my mortal call. So I'm stuck. I can't do anything. Um, I'm about to get hit by a basic attack, just does around 1300 damage from the Titty Bitch. Yeah, I'm stuck right now. There's nothing I can really do. Enfeebled, enfeebled. Um, yeah. So I'm moving on up. Stuck, can't do anything. There it is. 700 plus 600. Well, now I have no mortal call left. I'm gonna have like a split second here to cast the mortal call, but that to be a very fast reaction. I have to be holding the key down. Uh, in the past, when this has happened, I've been able to just leap slam down or run away. Because the titty bitch usually casts a spell or something like right behind you, and you're always safe. Uh, maybe I was blocking it, uh, I don't know. I, I do have 60 on spell block, could have just blocked it every single time. I have only done 10 uber runs, like 200 plus normal Zeri runs, so well, maybe I got unlucky all those other times when this happened. Yeah, I go down, kick around like 2k damage from the first tech. Um, yeah. 
Then right now, I'm actually getting stunned over here. This is the last desync issue. Getting stunned over here. And but on my screen I'm running away. Then I'm about to teleport back here and just pretty much instantly lose all my HP. It's only two endurance charges, like 9k armor. Yeah, that just die. Teleport back. So yeah, I had a very short reaction time over here. That would have been pretty insane. I didn't block anything at all, which is unlucky, but I'm not gonna blame the death on desync. I could have avoided it. I logged out when I was stuck in my animation over here. Or just uh, not lame name locked, which is what I'm gonna plan to do the next time. So let me show you stats really fast. Okay, this is I'm Rotter that died, I believe. Yep. See, 5k life, 700 DS, or 5.8k life. Got you know, 84 resist, important stuff, 9.4k armor, 9.3k. Uh, good block, kind of lucky, some life for gen. Should be the exact setup I had when I died. Good chaos resist for the cycloner. I was probably running 7.1k cyclone, yep. I used melee full, 7.6, took a life gain on hit. 10.5k. So yeah, these are the stats of this guy. Uh, so, uh, this is standard, of course, after he died. Anyways, it's, uh, I'll show you guys my new Marauder. It's not done leveling yet, but we'll be ready soon. Alright, this is Invasion. It's a new level 86 Marauder. HP casual the second. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna notice, my life is really low in comparison, but I have a lot more ES. This is Bringer Brain. Um, yeah, uh, I have a. But the difference is, I took a different approach this time. HP Casual, the first character, he focused a lot more about uh, elemental resistance since invasion bosses at the beginning of the league were pretty overpowered, and my idea to basically become immortal was to use a mortal call, which is why I did not have a lot of armor and to uh, basically stack the elemental resistance so I'd basically like get god mode pretty much, never die which I had accomplished uh, for the, for maps at least not not really for Uber 3 anyways so yeah I have a ton more armor now um, the resistors are lower but on Uber 3 I will uh, probably snapchat a purity fire run get the same fire resist which is all you need for the second fight just fire and physical mitigation um, what else is different about this character? Alright, the DPS. Uh, DPS is a lot lower, which is uh, basically because I'm low level. I don't have enough points for damage nodes right now. Like, there's a lot of stuff I would pick up, like by the blade, which is huge. Which is just levels. Um, yeah, good, good block. A little bit lower life regen, but a ton more yes. And. That's the damage, it's a lot lower now. Out of fire. Be full. 1.4k, yeah. If I just get some levels, I get EC and get the damage back up there. Uh, it'd be good. But an interesting thing is, I can also uh, use this new chest I bought today. And the vertex I got from previous Ubers. This moves me from 1.6k ES. Those are around like 400 life to 3.7k ES. It's uh, pretty huge. Uh, one downside to this though is all the chest is five link. I would need to six link it first since I have to use melee fizz, faster attacks. You know, double these up, twenty twenty. Click on in, conk. So the damage is a little lower, but I think with higher level gems it should get back up. And I need one to six link it so I can get life gain on the hit to mitigate the chaos degen. And in case I get unlucky and go into my life pool. Life gain on hit with Cyclone is uh, enormous. And another downside of doing this is uh, the block. I lose 15 block off the Bringer Brain, which is huge. But it's uh, again easy made up in levels. I got 1, 2, 3, like 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 points pretty much to get it back up. And probably get some in more in somewhere else. I get a plus four block, so on a uh, The reason for getting such a high, getting such high armor now is 
Just in case I do fuck up again, there's a higher chance I won't instantly die, and I'll be able to mitigate it a lot easier. Um, I pre I'd preferably want to run this setup over Bringer of Rain, since the damage is comparable, as you can see. And with, uh, what do you call it? Once I get uh, the damage nodes, my damage will go back up there, back up there, and it'll be fine. But the short amount of time left in the league, I'll probably just, you know, yell it with less damage. And it's not, it's not a race, you know, it's hardcore. It's uh, better safe than sorry, and with this type of mitigation and the healing around 800 ES per second, or well, per block, I'm going to be very safe with uh, such a big pool such high amount of armor, and I plan to snapchat, which leads to me to my second point, since I know some of you guys are wondering why am I wasting all these points to get to sentinel and reflexes, well I'm gonna like pretty much remove these nodes, I'll get the duration nodes, get these duration nodes here, probably snapchat charisma or effectiveness here, influence, get a ton of armor from that, will be like 50-60k armor, something insane. And yeah, I'll heal even more, like 1200 armor, per, or 1200 ES, sorry, per block. I'll be very tanky. Uh, get purity of fire, have 85, 86 fire resist, whatever it turns out to be. And yeah, that's the plan uh, for the Uber series. Uh, this character is, I'm only planning to use it for the second fight of Uber Materi, uh, the first fight. I'm either gonna. I could probably respect this character for it, just maybe get some purity lightning going and purity of ice. Since I might get frozen a lot, or I can just do my spectral thrower or get a friend to do it. Uh, Uber theory, you know, again, on my spectral thrower. A second fight, yeah, this character. It's a basically his own this purpose. Just to do the second fight. Um. Yeah, and then for mapping, this is. A very safe build actually. You can pretty much AFK now. If you couldn't AFK beforehand. I'm not sure what we're gonna put in here, probably some cast when damage taken or something, but I'll update the build thread for you guys and you guys can take a look and see what I choose. And yeah, as I level up in progress I'll update it. Uh what else? Oh yeah, Ubers and the axe. I know I told you guys in the last video I was planning to farm the Uber axe. Uh, let me just switch clients really fast. One moment. Alright. This is Invasion. Um, I farmed around 10 Mortal Hopes. I bought a couple. But majority of these were farmed, I believe. We have around 10 Uber sets right now, which is going to be good. Uh, if I don't get the axe within these 10, I'm probably just going to give up. And just be like whatever. I didn't get lucky enough. Um, yeah, I don't feel like doing 50, 60 Ubers. It's just pretty painful and it's very hard to acquire the currency to buy these and prepare and all that nonsense. Uh, I could just convert currency and buy the axe and ambush, but that's no fun. I'd rather earn it myself. Yeah, but that's the plan for the axe. Um, anything else to do? Might do some more tunneling, more crafting, but yeah, that's the plan for Ubers. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned about you know, why I died and I, the fact that I learned something from my death and I'm going to change it up by, uh, you know, changing the build a bit, getting more armor, um, not name locking, which will be huge, so I don't uh, get stuck in animation and yeah, just uh, learning from my mistakes and. You know, not giving up. Keep on farming them clams. Anyways, I'll see you guys uh, in the next video and on stream. Peace.